start. Soon. Howdy, 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 everybody. How was that? That was good. I both let him know before I started. Yeah. A four. A four. A four. Yeah. Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... <laughs> me. <laughs> Who is me? <laughs> Bradman. Bradman. That works, too. Oh, my thing is coming off the wall, babe. I hate my it. My wit, she curled. Oh, why she curled? She curled. I'm going to have to redo her. I'm not going to put her back up. Maybe I won't need to. Maybe she'll be going someplace else. Maybe she'll be going to another place we live. That would be nice. Anyway, it is January 13th, 2018. It is Saturday night. It is 6.17 p.m. on this very frigid cold day. What? No. Singing an old 70s song. No, okay, no, we're into... The 2018, we're not back in the 70s, way back then, before they had cell phones. Can you do the weather? I can do the weather. Do the weather, please. Okay. The weather in Panacea, Florida, it's currently 48 degrees, a high today of 50, a low of 31, real field temperature of 41 degrees. And I saw that for Wednesday, they are predicting snow in Tallahassee. Can you believe that stuff? Isn't twice that crazy? In, twi twice in one year, snow. Yep. So, okay. Remember, it's all because I thought winter was over. Remember, yeah. people? I thought winter was over. Winter is not over. Winter nope. is not over. And I am dressed in my finest gear right now, I have you know. I am still in my night shirt, which is just an oversized t-shirt. And I'm in my robe. <laughs> and on the bottom I have a blue pair of pants I have some gray striped socks And I have some white and gray Kind of squirreled Crocs on I am rocking you today <laughs> And I ain't even comb my hair Cause Why I just don't want it today I'm having a no bra Saturday Cause I have to wear a bra tomorrow See I told you I had to wear a bra tomorrow Brad Heidi. But anyway, we'll recap on the last night. I can't really remember. Oh, I made the video early. What did I what did I make for dinner last night? Nothing. Nothing. Because I ate some more of that soup last night and Brad made there was enough rice left that he made um fried rice. Remember I talked to you guys about that. I remember that. Um then we just kind of, Brad did some laundry, and then I had a couple loads of laundry to fold, and, and um, we just kind of fiddle-farted around, right, hon? Mm -hmm. And um, then I started at one cross-stitch piece I told you guys about. I'll do a, just a real quick recap. I started this piece. It's a kit, cross-stitch. It's not stamped. Which is, it's, it's great, you know, I know. Okay. And I always, I like to do mine on a hoop. Some people do, some people don't. And I always, since I don't have my sewing machine out all the time right now, I always run some clear glue along the edges so it doesn't fray. Normally I'll curl up, I'll, I'll, I'll roll up all the edges and, 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 I've still got to find some um, safety pins and, and pin these so they're not getting dirty and stuff while I'm working. So, um, like I said, just barely started it. But my complaint is, and I still have to tape this pattern together. And I, I guess you're not supposed to show the pattern, so um, I won't show it up close. But, you know, it's I need to tape it together. But... What I mainly want to show you guys anyway is my complaint about this pattern is the very bottom here. And I'm going to fold it. I don't want to get in trouble. Legally, you know. How they did the very bottom with the symbols for, for the different colors. And then, okay, so they did that. And then this is how they sent the colors. There are 30 colors. 
they sent him loosely looped through number one through 30. So, and some of the colors are so close together, naturally, but none of these numbers correspond with the DMC uh, color number, or I don't even know if it's DMC thread. Yeah, it is. Um, but none of it corresponded with, with, they gave the numbers here at the bottom of what thread it was, but on here it was just one through 30. So I ended up doing last night, I have 150 plastic bobbins for floss around, brand new, couldn't find them. I think I know where they are now. Um, I think they're in that red tote in here in the bedroom, hun. Okay. It's got miscellaneous stuff in it. Okay. But I ended up doing last night is sitting and Brad was trying to help me, you know, late at night. He's in trying to go to sleep and I end up using the little bags that I use for the 5D and labeling each one with the number and going through and pulling them off that card and it'll work out much better for me because, you know, you don't want to pay all this money out for a kit. You know, and then not be able to do it correctly. And so then I used this little cookie tin. And I just put all the labeled thread in its own bags here. So it's just an idea if you ever find yourself in that kind of situation. You can get those little bags in the jewelry making section. Or the craft section at like Walmart. Probably anywhere else. You can, you can order them online too. But so I'm working on that. And then I also am working on a hat, which I didn't get finished last night either, but I'll get it finished tonight. It's an adult hat. And, um, see there's a pattern I'm starting. So, yep, getting that, I've got that going. I'm running two different colors of yarn right now on that. And that's all I've done for, I've got some painting stuff. I don't need that card anymore. I've got some painting stuff inside, um, but I, I haven't done any. I have a painting I need to finish. It's almost finished. Then I'm working with that burlap canvas, which I do not like. I, I'm glad I got a chance to, to work some with it, but I wouldn't buy any of it. I just, you know, not don't care for it. For me, it's very hard to work with. Um, but... Uh, I'm, a, I'm doing kind of some abstracts on two of those. But, um... Did you bring in all your paints from outside? No, but I covered them all. Okay. I covered them all, so... Okay. I used, um... Uh, that afghan that, that I made you, and I covered... Okay. I went out there and covered them. They'll be fine like that. Okay. Um, yeah, because, you know, it's getting down in temperature. Again. I don't really have room to keep bringing the paints in. Um, if it was going to get down and stay down, I would bring them in, but it's not. So, you know, it's going to get down, but it's not going to stay down. And in the canopy, they stay a little warmer. So, um, you know, and I'm not even going to bother covering my plant tonight. You know, whatever makes it, makes it. What doesn't, doesn't. You know, not like I can't grow more. You know, um, and again, I don't think it's going to get down that low that, you know, you can get some damage to the leaves and stuff, but that's about it. Um, I slept pretty good once I got sleep. It was, I was up and down for until about 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no wonder I probably went to sleep all day today, huh? Yeah. Uh, you seem like you were sleeping pretty good. I slept, I slept better than I have been. Good, good. His back is... Still killing him, but the sciatica part, I think, is getting better. I ask him when I'm rubbing muscle rub on him at night what pattern we should do. Right now, we're doing a Christmas tree pattern <laughs> on the back. <laughs> Sometimes that makes a little star on top of the tree, too. You know, just, yeah. Gotta have fun with it. Mm -hmm. We're having tacos tonight. Brad will make those. Well, I'll chop, I'll, I'll, I'll chop up the stuff. He'll the cook the meat. Yeah. And um, then we're just going to going to relax. We want to watch a movie. And we could if we do it early, huh? Because then after that, I got to take water pills. You know. I know. You have to juggle what you're going to do for the day. 
according to what pills you have to take. <laughs> but that's just the way life is. Right, hon? And, um... Yeah. What? Well, you said that's the way life is. It is. Mm-hmm. You know, but, um... Other than that, not really anything major going on. We have an appointment to look at the trailer tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and so but they're not supposed to know about it. Somebody well, no, supposed somebody, to it. yeah. Well, but that's okay. And I don't know if I accidentally said RV because I got a, a couple people that, you know, wish me good luck on, on finding an RV to rent. No, we're, 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 gonna, we're looking at renting a mobile home. A trailer. We live in an RV now. We don't want to rent one, and we don't want to live in it anymore. No. No. We just like we're gonna mm -hmm. sell the fucker. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, we are so over the camping. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I my hats off to people that do it long term. There's some people here, like our friend Carlton and them, that have been. And this is not the first RV park they have lived in. Mm -hmm. Um. But, you know, they've been here for over 10 years. And, uh, you know, my hat's off to them. And I guess it depends on how much your home and how what your lifestyle is and probably how big big your unit is mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It was just him and Kay in a travel trailer. It's a pretty big travel trailer. Yeah. It's got, it's got slide outs. Two slide outs, I yeah. think. And, you know, um, they have no pets or anything. But, and it's like some people like traveling all over the United States mm -hmm. and stopping here and there. And, and sometimes they work along the way. Sometimes they don't. They just not us. I, yeah. Look at I, the cat. I know. She wants your attention what? now. What? But it's just, that's just not us. I think it's great these people do it. I enjoy watching the videos of them doing it. But it's just not us. We you know. talked about that, the possibility of us. Yeah. You know, because we looked at the, um. The work camping. Yeah, yeah, the work and, camping. And uh, I just, I'd like to be able to set down roots. You mm -hmm. know? I'm, We're um, not nomadic enough. No. You know. No. No. Yeah. Can't get I'm, anything out of this straw. I know. I'll go grab you. <laughs> but um, Brad stopped to get a few things at the store. And he brought home the cutest candle. And this was... Mark down. He's had an eye on him when he worked there, and um, I'm trying to see. I have. I have to. I have a picture of it that I shared with. Are you looking for Linda. your phone? Oh no! I want this. I just want to share this. Um, it comes in a little little cast iron frying pan, and it was cinnabon. It was marked down seventy percent, and it's a real cast iron. Isn't that the cutest ever? And then I'm going to be able to use the cast iron to put other wax melts. And I just think that's the neatest thing. And oh, it smells so good. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome, baby. So, yes, yes, I try to get restocked up on on stuff when they put candles 70% off at Christmas. And, you know, whenever the seasons are changing. And, you know. But that one just smells so good. I had to light it right away. Comes home and goes, look in the bag. I look and I found a gingerbread candle. I'm like, oh, thank you. And he's like, there's another one. I'm like, there's another candle? So anyway, that's how oh, we got I'm going, going on. surprise you. It was a very nice surprise. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, I've been having trouble thinking about anything else really other than that. Trailer. I don't really care what it's like, <laughs> you know. Well, I've seen pictures of their other rentals, and 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 they do nice work and stuff, and and uh, you know, we just it's the time has come. Oh, sweet little Rebecca is in the hospital. She probably maybe already had a little baby girl. Um, she went in labor early this morning. Last that she texted me, she was at eight centimeters. They had to redo the epidurals because it was wearing off. But I haven't texted her because, you know, she might be a little busy pushing out a little human. So I don't want to be bugging her. How you doing there? 
<laughs> so, <laughs> you know, hopefully little Riley has been born and mom and baby are doing well. I haven't checked the Facebook to see if anybody had posted anything on there, you know. And then we got a box at the uh, um, post office we had to pick up Monday. Um, I think it's just probably the bark box. But I don't have anything anything ordered that, you know. But Linda said, you know, uh, she said, you know, probably a, something from Amazon in a great big box. And it's like, yep. Yeah. Well, have you ordered anything recently, or did no. we get all that stuff in? No. Oh, I I have stuff, but just little stuff. Okay. Yeah, she hasn't posted anything in a while, so. But anyway, hopefully everything went well. Um, that's all we got going on. You know, we're just sitting here talking about different possibilities, and I've been finding stuff on Amazon I'd like to get for the trailer or any place we rent that yeah. I've been putting on the the wish list so I know where it is, you know, when the time comes, you know, you know, as we can afford it, yeah. you know. I found the cutest looking barn door, and I think I already told you guys, this shower curtain. Rustic looking. Brad liked it too. Mm -hmm. And then they got some rugs that are kind of, that are, that, that match. I didn't go for the set one because I promised my husband a long time ago I would not do a <laughs> toilet seat cover. And it want, the set came with a toilet seat cover. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I thought that would be something kind of kind of different. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm getting excited about, you know, making a place your own again. Mm -hmm. Whether you live in an RV, you live in a tent, even if you lived in a car. I know there's people that, that do, that are doing YouTube videos. Um, you know, or a trailer, the biggest, fanciest house, maybe a motel room, whatever, making it your own. A few little knickknack things that you identify with, you know, like Jack Skellington and, you know, some there's some dragon stuff. And Brad will be able to have his swords hung back on the wall. Mm -hmm. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Be able to have our electric heater, mm -hmm. our electric fireplace out. You know, so a heater, that would be nice. And, you know, that's what we purposely, things that we've been buying for the RV to use in the RV, purposely have been doing it to where it could be used in wherever we rent also, mm -hmm. like the air conditioner and, you know, uh, the canopy. The mm -hmm. canopy, screened in canopy can still be used. Oh, yeah, that's going to be your art room. Yeah, it's going to be my art room. You know, I like painting outside. Um, I don't know why I would stop. So, yeah, I love sitting out there and, you know, painting outside. I like that setup. So, I'll be doing it there. So. Well, you know, and, and where we lived at, I mean, it wasn't that it was a bad area, but the wind blew so hard. I can't even imagine. Yeah. I can't even imagine trying to paint with that kind of weather, yeah. with that kind of wind. Yeah. No, no. Oh, from Wyoming? Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember us ever having a picnic. We didn't have to hold on to everything. I know. You know? You said yeah. you're having a picnic and you have to hold on to yeah, everything. you just got to you know. nail your hammers mm -hmm. to, the, to the ground. Yeah. To the table. And, uh, uh, but yeah, that's, we've just been thinking a lot, about, talking a lot about, about that, you know. You know, close your bedroom door, and, you know, make your bed, close your bedroom door and open it. And it be everything be the same, you know. And uh, just, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. But I tell you what, and we haven't gotten a place yet. But I got a real good, real, real good feeling about this one. So does Brad. Mm -hmm. And I want we talked about wanting to be in Crawfordville. Um, how 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 big is the population of Crawfordville? I'm guessing. Somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand. Yeah, not real big, but I mean, it's got a Walmart. It does have a Winn Dixie, though nobody really goes there. You know, you know of course, it's got Dollar Generals and a Dollar Tree, and and uh, you know, it's got like a tractor supply place. It's got 
couple hardware stores. Yeah, and it's got, you know, some restaurants and it's got some fast food and, you know, it's got, you know, just your normal, like, car washes and that kind of stuff. Um, it's basically kind of the hub for Wakulla County. Yeah. You know, it's got the library, you know, on the outskirts of it and stuff. It would be closer to Brad's work. It would be closer to when we do get a second vehicle. Or if I even wanted to run, let's say, to Walmart before Brad was going to work. Maybe I needed something. Maybe I said, well, while you're in the shower, I'm going to take the car and run and get whatever. And I'll, and, and I'll, I'll come right back home. I could do that. Or, you know, when he gets off work, I could say, well, I'm going to, you know, let's run up the street and get, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Because from here, I mean, just just driving time, we're looking at 45 minutes mm -hmm. from here up to Walmart, mm -hmm. round trip. Yeah, that's you know? just the driving time. So that'll be real nice. Mm -hmm. You know, I would be very happy about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell you what, though, what I was getting at, I'll never take for granted again, like the ability to have a fully functioning stove and oven mm -hmm. or to have a, a, a full-size fridge mm -hmm. um, have a normal toilet have a bathroom door to have be able to shower anytime you want and other stuff yeah it's been a very humbling experience and I think it's been really good for us um, like I said, you won't take for granted that kind of stuff. Uh, you won't take for granted having normal beds, mm -hmm. not having to pull the bed out and stuff. Um, you know, I think we get, especially we Americans, get way too accustomed to all of the amenities. Mm -hmm. And we don't realize how most of the other part of the world live. Mm -hmm. And... How lucky we are to have these conveniences mm -hmm. like that. We already have planned out Brad wants to cook a frozen pizza in the oven. Yep. You know, he wants to get one of them self rising, you know, pizzas and cook it in the oven. Um, you know, but I mean, it's been a very humbling experience. And like I said, it's been a good one. There's no other way do I think we could have come out here mm -hmm. um, with all the animals. And we've had some good times here in the park. Mm -hmm. Met some um, wonderful people. Had, met some wonderful people. Um, you know, saw some incredible sunsets over this bay mm -hmm. and stuff. And, um, you know, it's been a wonderful experience, but it's time to, it's time to move on. And it's time to um, continue our journey and, and stuff. To, I just want to get reestablished in a house. You know, and, you know, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. We're still going to have a P.O. box. We will transfer the P.O. box to Crawfordville. So, you know, we still will have a P.O. box and everything. I like having a P.O. box. I think it's a good safety measure. Um, so. I'm looking forward to being relatively normal. Well, we haven't lived in a. Because we lived in out in Bar None for mm -hmm. eighteen years, mm -hmm. seventeen years, seventeen years, and you know they had um, a bar, and you had you know all the lock boxes for the for the postal area, postal building. Um, you know, I mean, that's all it was just mm -hmm. lock boxes, and um, they had a convenience store. It wasn't even in Bar None. That was it. Oh, and then later on they built a car wash. And a dog wash. And a dog wash. And a great big Kenworth. They didn't want to have apartment buildings. They thought that would just be so horrible to have apartment buildings. But they didn't want, quote, those type of people. That's how very prejudiced they could be. At least this group of people. Not all people in Wyoming, born and raised in Wyoming, so don't send me your hate. Um, because I'll send it right back. But, um... They didn't want to have those kind of people. Anywhere else that you move, most likely, people are not prejudiced about people living in apartment or trailer houses, but, you know. Anyway, so they bent, built this huge Kenworth um, repair place. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, that's much nicer. You know, um, but uh, so we haven't lived in a, a, a town or anything with any kind of real amenities in a long time. So I'm very excited about, you know, being able to run and get, you know, if we wanted to go get dinner somewhere or, you know, you know, if we wanted to uh, need something at Walmart, you know, because that Walmart's 24 hours and stuff. So, I mean, and like I said, it'll be closer to Brad's work. And like I said, once we sell the RV, we're going to take half of the money and buy just a real cheap, basically, runabout around Crawfordville um, vehicle. I mean, if it runs good, Brad might be taking that to work. You know, if it's cheaper on gas, that's up to him. I mean, if you want the Jeep, you can have the Jeep, you know. The Jeep's kind of your baby. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so then I can, you know, have some freedom if I want to go to the library. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a few few groups I've thought about joining and stuff. You know, we, I could do that. So. Mm -hmm. Right? What was that one art? Oh, that was Zentangle. Okay. No, that's a, basically like a, a kind of an adult coloring thing, which is great, but it's just not something that, no. you know. No. Yeah. So, anyway, I've rambled on here long enough. Brad's going to change clothes. Right? You just seem like you're in a lot of pain. You need to take some more back and body. <clears throat> you, you want me to put some muscle rub on you? Yeah. What design are we doing? Oh, stick with the tree. We're, we're still doing the Christmas tree? Still doing the Christmas tree. Star or no star? Yeah. Uh, no star. How about an angel this time on yeah, top of the Whatever tree? you want to do. Jack Gillington. Okay. Just no more <laughs> magic markers anymore. My. What's fun? All right, I love you guys. No, I didn't get to comment. I'm getting to them tonight. Uh huh. You said for the last three nights. I know. Okay. So anyway, love you guys, and I do cherish your uh, friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. <laughs>